The region of Najd in Central Arabia was historically a dangerous region with no central authority. Since the late Abbasid period, the rule of the Najd region became dominated by the tribes and independent states, and the caliphs lost control of the region. The 11th century Persian traveller Nasir Khusro, who visited the region of Najd, stated, The people there are very poor and miserable, and despite their poverty, they are in a state of war, hostility and bloodshed every day. To cross the lands of any of the tribes that inhabit those lands, it was necessary to be accompanied by a guard so that the traveller would not be robbed of his money and possessions. Najd remained a dangerous region during the Ottoman period, and the Ottomans preferred to work with the local tribes to maintain indirect influence in the region in order to protect their trade and Hajj caravans. However, the situation in Najd dramatically changed in the year 1869 when a powerful ruler known as Muhammad bin Abdullah al Rashid rose to power in the region and became the new ruler of the small tribal emirate of Jabal Shammar. Muhammad bin Rashid expanded his emirate and extended his rule to the entire region of Najd. He even conquered much of the Syrian desert in the north, the region of Najran which bordered Yemen in the south, the city of Tabuk in Hejaz, and the region of Al-Jahra in Kuwait. Muhammad bin Rashid established the rule of law in the region of Najd and punished tribes who robbed and killed. He developed the economy of the state and exported coffee and dates to the neighboring Ottoman Empire. He established a police force which protected people from raiding Bedouin tribes. And for the first time in centuries, travelers could pass through the region without being harmed and the region experienced stability. After seeing the growing influence of Muhammad bin Rashid in Najd, the British began to see Muhammad bin Rashid as a potential ally against the Ottomans. However, Muhammad bin Rashid refused to attack his fellow Muslims and he rejected British schemes to divide the Muslims. In 1884, 17 British officials visited Muhammad bin Rashid and gave him a large quantity of modern rifles and ammunition. Muhammad bin Rashid accepted the gift, but he rejected British suggestions that he should attack Ottoman territory in Iraq and the Gulf. In contrast, Muhammad bin Rashid established strong relations with the Ottomans, and in 1885, Muhammad bin Rashid signed an agreement with the Ottoman Caliph Sultan Abdul Hamid, pledging to protect Ottoman Hajj caravans traveling through the Najd region and promising to respect each other's territorial integrity. As a result, Muhammad bin Rashid created a safe and secure environment for pilgrims, which was free from the robbery and looting which had previously existed in the region. Any tribe that was caught stealing and raiding was punished severely, and on many occasions, Muhammad bin Rashid returned goods that were stolen by tribes from his territory who robbed citizens living in Ottoman territories. Muhammad bin Rashid was a proud Muslim and he welcomed visitors from all around the Muslim world to his state. Besides his native language of Arabic, he was also fluent in the Turkish and Persian languages and he welcomed many Iranian pilgrims who were traveling through the Najd region in order to get to the holy city of Mecca. Muhammad bin Abdullah al-Rashid passed away in November 1897. After his death, the Jabal Shammar Emirate began to decline due to an internal power struggle.